Welcome to another video by Precision Programming Services. Today we're going to take a look at Space Mouse Wireless. We're going to look at some of the options of actually adding extra buttons to the controls where basically at this particular point as we can see when I go to look at buttons we're limited to two, left and a right on that, but I would actually like to have more options. So we're going to take a look at that. We're going to use for part of our demonstration, we actually have open in the background here is Mastercam 8, Mastercam's new release of their Mastercam version series of the X series. So uh, taking a quick look at what we have. So right now we can see that basically if I hit to the right key, I'm going to get the option for fit. If I go to the left, I get the properties. I'm not, but I would actually like to be able to have a little more control, being that maybe I'd like to have, say, an extra four buttons or four options instead of that or five options or even more actually because we could configure the left and the right so I'm going to start off by looking at the left button where it's set for properties so I'm going to go ahead and hit the properties so we select in the properties we get type a shortcut we could type a shortcut but I'm actually if I go to the right here I have a little arrow that shows up I'm going to select that option and I get a drop down what I'm looking for is actually at this particular time to add. We could look at real quickly what do we have. We have different controls for the unit, as you can see in this particular point here. Different kinds of controls for the keyboard. We have different types of macros, for example, pick rotational center. Great one to have. Other play, different types of devices, you want to play your media player, you want to start your browser, things you can add to your controls. What I'm looking for is radial menus. I'm going to go down here to radial menus, and I'm going to go ahead and say new radial menu. In this case, enter radial name, and I'll say Master Cam X8. And what I'm going to do is go over here and I'm going to say the first option is looking at some of these other controls. And let's go ahead and look at level manager. Let's add that one. Number two, I'm going to add rotational pick center. Number four, uh, backing up here, look at macros. And let's say, for example, fit. So I can still have that fit option if I'd like. And another might be isometric view. So what I've done now is created a radial manual name. And I can create many of them, actually. But in this case, I've created one, the Mastercam X8. And I've added these options controls. So I'm going to say close. So you can see that that's actually set here in this configuration. And I could go ahead and do another one right here. But let's see what that does by adding that. So I'm going to say close, and I'm going to say OK. I'm going to back up a little bit here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit that left button. And you'll notice on the screen now, I actually have, using my mouse, I can pick any one of these controls. So for I'll go ahead and pick rotational center, and I might go ahead and say the edge point here, and everything will come from that particular point in space. At any time, left click, and I can use any of these buttons. If I didn't want to use them, I can actually hit the center button, and it removes the menu from the screen. But you can see this adds multiple options to that. So we could add four options there, and actually going back into the menu, now that we've gone through adding to our left button four more option controls, we could actually do the same thing to our right button. In this case, I actually already have one created that I've had from before. So I'm going to go to the drop down here, and you can see I've got menu RM1. Now, if I wanted to actually modify that after I've gone in there and set up some of that, that's where you have the option here to use the edit button. Select that, and it pops open the menu so that you make modifications to this configuration on that. At this time, I'm not going to, but I am going to go ahead and set that one. So I'm going to left click here. I'm going to say close, say OK, if I left select, we can see I have level, ISO, pick rotational center, and fit. If I go ahead and select the right button, I have properties, bounding box, silhouette boundary, and level manager. 
when you get a chance, go to 3dconnections.com and look for our downloads for the latest drivers. This is using drivers uh, 10.1.4. And I hope you find this as helpful to find out that you can actually have a little bit more control than you already have at this time. Thank you for visiting.